All right, as we continue our study of U.S. government, this unit we're going to be looking at political parties. You know, George Washington's farewell address has become famous for a couple of things. Two things that he warned the new nation against. Number one, he warned them against foreign entanglements, that is, alliances, establishing alliances with other governments. And secondly, he warned them against a party system. Here's what George Washington had to say in that address. He says, let me warn you in the most solemn manner against the baneful effects of the spirit of party. George Washington considered the party system one of the worst enemies against popular government. It's ironic that uh, he would uh, speak so uh, adamantly against the party system, but yet within his own government, there arose a spirit of party. There was uh, Thomas Jefferson, who was his Secretary of State, and Alexander Hamilton, who was the Secretary of Treasury, and they had two different opposing ideologies about government. And really, we can trace the governmental party system within the United States back to those two gentlemen. We're going to talk about them a little more as we dive into the study of this uh, unit. We're going to also look at the history of parties, the first parties uh, that existed in the United States. We'll talk about Andrew Jackson and his uh, influence upon grassroots party participation. We'll also look at the nature of parties as they exist today in the United States. Then we're going to take a look at electoral and party systems. Ours is a plurality system of elections, uh, unlike uh, many other nations in the Western world. We'll look at uh, party coalitions, uh, those groups that make up both the Democrat and Republican Party in the past as well as today. And then we'll take a look at minor or third parties that have and do currently exist in the United States. Parties like the Greenback Party, the Free Soil Party, uh, there are all sorts of parties that have existed, over a thousand parties in the history of the United States, and we'll take a look at a few of those. Then we will look at party organizations. Uh, with the progressive era, there was a weakening of the party organizations. We'll talk about that, and then we'll look at the structure and role of parties, uh, and then we'll evolve into what we call the candidate-centered campaign with the weakening of the uh, party organizations by the progressive era uh, reforms, we now have what's considered a candidate-centered campaign. So we'll talk about that, and then we'll conclude by looking at parties, candidates, and the public's influence. With that introduction, let's dive into political